Uh, guys, I'm out for a drive in my smart car and we've just gone from 20% to 6% in about one mile. I'm gonna hand this over to Alyssa. Uh, not exactly sure. I've shut off all climate. What's going on? Definitely some BMS confusion and sway. The issue is I'm still, well, how far away are we from home? Three Two miles? Yeah, Two miles? Two. If it continues on this trend, we're not gonna make it. So, um, you know, we had plenty. I had the smart car in storage at around 40 to 45% state of charge. We went to go get some food and um, on the way back now, you know, I thought I'd get back at 15% or so. It was as soon as we hit 20%, it was like 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. They're already down to 5% already. Um, and it just like brrr, dropped hardcore down. Now the temperature outside did drop, but I would say only about nine degrees, nothing major. And so it should be able to cope with that 4%. Let's try and get as much regen in there as we can. The one saving thing we have are these little orange dots right here on this display. That indicates our total power output. Um, but this is the first time in this smart car I've seen this behavior. It's always just been bang on, very German, in the sense where the BMS has always been great. Now it hasn't been full charged or top charged, but um, our distance to empty is dash dash. And with these lights indicating full, it means we still have full power output. As we get really near bottom voltage, 3% state of charge, what is going on? It starts to back off that. So I'm hoping we can go below zero, Alyssa. Yeah, should. I don't know, this car, we've done range tests and it shuts off at just after zero. So I'm trying to drive super gently, 35 miles an hour. We'll go into eco mode, looking for all the ways to improve everything. Lights off. And dang, this is definitely the most amount of drain I've ever seen from an electric car before. So let's see what happens. We've got uh, a lot of cars down and dead at the moment. Last thing we need is another one to die on us. Cybertruck's dead, the B-Class died on us the other day, and now we're just out for a normal drive in the smart car. Nothing fancy, just been driving it around a little bit, wanted to get it out, and it just brrr, just took a tank. So just elongating the coasting and the regening as much as possible, pulling out all the efficiency stops. And um, yeah, I guess we can't even charge this at home, Alyssa. Why? The Tesla universal wall connectors that we have at home work with pretty much every electric car except for the smart car but we have a 110 we will have to plug it into a wall outlet yep yeah. that is the way to charge it um i don't think we have one at the house but that's okay we can go to the hub and get one so easy enough let's see what happens i'm going to we have all loads off everything's good to go and we're at three percent state of charge another mile mile and a half to get there maybe closer to a mile and a half i would say from here For those of you who are not familiar with this car, this is our 2017 electric Smart for Two. We've had this since new. I was the original owner and um, it's got, I don't even know how many miles on it, maybe under 20,000 miles still. It's, uh, I don't even know where I would find that. I don't really, we don't really drive it that much, Alyssa, but we do enjoy it. It's a convertible. It's nice for the warm weather. We got 19,000 miles on it. It was perfectly warm and nice earlier today, and then the wind came in and it got cold outside. But uh, this thing is such a nice car. 2% state of charge. It does seem to be leveling off a little bit now. That seems reasonable. It held three for a little bit longer. What's your impression of the Smart? I just, I hope it doesn't die because there's really not much out there to fix it. That's not in California. Yeah, I mean, we'd have to send it to Alex on the Out of Spec Renew channel if we have a battery issue. But certainly, I think it could be a case of it's just been in storage all winter at medium state of charge. It may just have had no idea where it was in the state of charge range. We got low and it went, whoa. So let's see if we can make it home. We've got probably one mile from here. Let's see what happens. Well, guys, we did make it. But wow, was that close. Look right over here, Alyssa. 1% state of charge and we are starting to get a power limit. So that is why we have a t-shirt on the shop.outofspecstudios.com website that says, don't trust the BMS. Even in some of these German cars that should have really good tuned BMSs, 
this one oof, almost just left us stranded. If we didn't time that, we had 1% in reserve. If we didn't time that perfectly, we would have been on the side of the road. We get lucky too much. That was that was pure luck. That was not intentional. That was just, we've got plenty of charge to go. And I was planning on plugging it in when I brought it back to the hub. But, um, you know, I was like, in my head, I was going to full charge it and calibrate the BMS and get it, you know, top charged. But, man, I didn't know it was this bad. That was the most amount of BMS sway I've ever seen in any car. And it just went 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, brrr, 6. And then even from then, it just shot down. So when it was indicating 20%, we were probably closer to 7 or 8% state of charge, maybe even less. Wow, we did get lucky. Let's plug it in. Well, I've just found the official Mercedes-Benz Level 1 EVSE. A little bit of a tangled cord, but it'll reach no problem. Maybe actually not with Alyssa needing to get out of the car. Let's, uh, let's just try and untangle this a little bit. Yeah, should be all right. And are we charging? Let's take a look. We should be, yes, charging at 1% now. So the best thing to do in this case is to um, charge it up to 100% and let it complete. And hopefully that will reset some of the calculations. So dang, man, little smart car. The first, well, not the really the first major issue we've had with it. We've had a convertible top issue that still leaks that we've never gotten fixed. And the 12 volt died, but that's very common for a car of this age. So other than those two things, this is the first major high voltage oddity we've had with it, other than it won't charge on our wall connectors. So, okay, well, we made it just fine. Shout out to the smart car for bringing us home. And uh, here's Walter. Walter, can you even fit in this thing? Can you even get in there, bud? No, I need more. No, you need Escalade IQL, not smart car. <laughs> so again, just to reiterate a couple learnings from this. The first is if you're going to leave your car at low to medium state of charge for a really long time for storage, it's probably a good idea to charge it all the way up to full, let it complete, let it log what's going on up there, drain it pretty low, let it sit down at low state of charge for a little while, just to try and recalibrate the BMS. Now, every battery management system works a little bit differently. Uh, there certainly could be a weak cell group in this car that caused a, an actual fault to happen. Although that's not really my impression here. My impression is just like, Okay, it thought it had more than it did. It started looking at the voltage levels as we were getting low, and it went, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, and oh, we're about to run out. And this is definitely the most extreme case of BMS sway I've ever seen. Uh, but sometimes, like, especially if you're towing or under load at very low state of charge, I've seen, like, uh, early Model Xs when towing was, like, kind of an early thing with electric cars. They could run out at three, four, five, six percent state of charge and just hit bottom voltage on one of the cell groups. And that is just what it is. So, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a hard thing because batteries hate to be sitting full for a really long time, but they also do need to be full charged and kind of drained every once in a while just so that they know what's going on. I'd say every three to six months to get 100% charge out of a battery seems pretty reasonable. That's about what I do with my cars, uh, except for this one, which has sat for many months, maybe even not quite a year, but many months without seeing a 100% charge and certainly without going deep into the red. Um, so, yep, just, just got to calibrate that battery. And if it does turn out to be a consistent problem, then we may have a high voltage system issue with one of the cell groups. I really hope that's not the case because the car's out of warranty at this point. And um, there's not much knowledge on fixing, especially the 453 smart electric drive like this is here. So, um Yep, that is what it is. Thanks so much for watching this Out of Spec Bits episode. That's what this channel is all about, just random stuff that happens. And we'll see you on another one again soon. Bye-bye.